And it's sad. Rush Limbaugh completely owned Mark Haynes. I mean, Mark Haynes, I mean, when Rush Limbaugh said conservative and liberal, oh, then Mark Haynes had something to say. Oh, 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 there you go again. Oh, oh. Other than that, he sounded like a fat, obnoxious blowhard. One thing that Mark Haynes couldn't do was attack Limbaugh on Limbaugh's economic plan. Economic plan, he couldn't do it. He couldn't find one criticism in his plan. Oh, at the end, when Lee said, "Um, it's a good point to his plan," only Mark Haynes could say, "Well, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah." Wow. So some people actually say that Mark Haynes owned Limbaugh. Mm -mm, other way around. It's pretty pathetic that a radio talk show host knows more about the economy than the anchor of a financial news network. That's just, I mean, that's just sad. But why didn't Mark Haynes attack Limbaugh by def defending o Obama's plan? Why didn't Mark Haynes attack Limbaugh and say all of the positive things about Obama's stimulus package that will create jobs in the private sector and get the economy turned around? I haven't heard anybody do that, to be honest. Not even Obama himself. Now, to think about it, today um, Obama is sending out a SOS alert to 13 million people, 13 million cult members on his um, email list. I don't know what they're going to do. What are they going to do? Should go up? What are they going to do? Rally? Obama? Obama? What are they going to do? They're going to flood talk uh, talk radio shows and like promote promote his uh, promote his bill. If you don't support his bill, you are unpatriotic. Or better yet, if you don't support his bill, you're a racist. So what's it going to be? If Barack Obama believes so strongly in his financial stimulus bill, aka pork bill, why is he why is he not now promoting the bill himself? Reason why? Maybe because he's afraid if he comes across that one person that isn't screened. By his administration, or gets past the crack in the media, whatever. That yeah, one person asked Barack Obama, "How is this stimulus bill going to fix the entire free market economy in the private sector? How is it going to create private sector jobs? How is it going to maintain private sector jobs from being eliminated?" The moment a person would, would ask Obama that, it's game over. Obama will be like a deer caught in headlights because this bill has nothing to do with, with saving or creating private sector jobs. It's nothing but a political payback package. That's all it is. It's basically horse manure sprayed with perfume. But once the perfume wears off, you still got the horse manure. And damn, that bad boy stank. That's why Obama's out there promoting his own bill. Even public opinion, people, or more people every day are finding out more and more about this bill, like hundreds of millions of dollars for contraceptives and contraceptives and condoms. Oh yeah, I guess if, I guess if somebody works for the Sheik or the Trojan condom factory, I guess somebody might be able to create some new jobs there. And you guys gotta go out promote people to have more sex, I guess. <laughs> but seriously, it's not gonna do anything for the economy. It's not gonna do anything, anything at all. And Obama knows it. And that's the reason why. He wants to get his minions, his little his little cult members, to go out there and quote promote it. Call that congressman. Debate talk radio. Get the talking points out. SOS. Challenge them. Get in their face and challenge them, right? But the problem is that they go out there and challenge somebody who knows more about this bill than they do, and they throw the facts in their face, what are they gonna do? What are the unbelievers gonna do? Change. Uh, uh, uh. And Mark Haynes is just one of them. Because if somebody would ask Mark Haynes what's in his in Obama's economic bill that's, that's going to help the um, private sector, oh 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 well, uh, oh, uh, oh, uh, oh 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 uh. oh, go to commercial. All right, well, to the people that actually voted for Obama, thinking this guy was great for the economy. No? Are you impressed yet? Because like I said before, Obama didn't graduate from Harvard School of Business. He graduated from Harvard School of Law. And last time I checked, 
The Bills weren't really the biggest fans of capitalism. Oh well. Live and learn.